All right, everyone. I have gotten a request to do a Starbucks egg whites copycat video. Okay. Now, I had to go to Starbucks yesterday to get these egg white bites to really appreciate them and try to mimic the recipe the best that I can. Now, the thing with the Starbucks um, egg white bites are they are sous vide. Most people, myself included, and you have to remember, I'm a professional chef. Do not have a sous vide machine at home. Now, there are ways to do it in the air fryer. I do not have that mold. So I'm going to do it in the oven and show you guys what's involved and how to create your own faux sous vide environment. So first things first, in the oven you want to create this faux sous vide environment so i've taken a baking pan and just filled it with hot water i'm going to go ahead and put this in my oven that's preheated to 350 degrees to start to create that steam environment that gives these those silky texture that doesn't put that crust on top of them etc so you set your oven to 300 I might have said 350, but it is 300, and put a pan of hot water in there. Now you may ask, why did I put that in the oven first? I want to start that steam environment. All right, so here's what you're going to need. You're going to need egg whites, half a cup of cheese, salt and pepper. You're going to need cottage cheese. Yep. If you all know me, you know I do not like cottage cheese, but this is actually what really does give them the silky texture. So we're gonna do it. And you're gonna need a muffin tin, okay? All right, so 10 egg whites in a blender. I'm using my Ninja, make it easy, okay? Ugh. Half a cup of cottage cheese. I know, trust me. If you are not a cottage cheese fan, just putting this in here is going to make you ill. But apparently this is really what gives it the texture. Okay. You're gonna use a half a cup of cheese. Now, when I was in Starbucks, I did ask what kind of cheese. And Starbucks uses a mix of Gruyere and um, Monterey. Did not have Gruyere, but I did have some Swiss, which is a great substitute. And I do have Monterey. So we'll just get that in there. Okay. It's half a cup. You could add a little bit more. Eyeball it up. Pinch of salt. Pinch of pepper. I have... Um, I have my shakers set on a very low setting, so it doesn't add a lot. Then you're going to blend this up roughly 30 seconds until it's nice and frothy. I'm going to save you from that sorcery and be back when it's blended. All right. While that's blending, spray your muffin tin with spray. And as you can see, this is all foamy. It looks great. Um, you want to spray the muffin tin because if you don't, it smells delicious. If you don't, these will stick. Okay, because we're not putting them in cups. We are steaming them right in the pan. Okay, so then all you're going to go ahead and do is fill up your muffin tins. That's way sloppier than I wanted it to be. Now this makes, and this, this is a regular size muffin tin, this makes roughly nine, but I'm doing two pans. So you're gonna get these in that 300 oven, okay, for 30 minutes. 
But before you go there, take some crumbled bacon or some sliced bacon and just add some. This is uncured turkey bacon. Add some to the tops. You're gonna bake these a half hour, okay? So, pan with hot water on the bottom rack. Put the next oven rack directly above that. Then you're gonna cook these over that rack and it's gonna give you that steam environment. So I will see you guys in a half hour when these are done. All right, everyone, the Starbucks Egg Bites copycat recipe are out of the oven. Now, when these come out of the oven, they're gonna be puffed up a little bit. And like I said, this makes nine, so this is actually the lesser of the two pans. Let them cool roughly two, three minutes and let them get down to a normal shape. And then because you sprayed the pan, they literally lift right out. Use a fork so you don't break them, but they literally lift right out. Maybe not this one, because it's stuck on the edge of the top of the pan. But we will get it. There we go. And just look at that, okay? So I'm gonna finish getting these out and then I'm gonna show you what they look like and the texture. The texture is pretty much spot on. Again, this is a faux sous vide method that I use that anybody can do. You don't need fancy equipment. You don't need an Instapot. You don't need uh, silicone molds. You already have these. You already have baking dishes and you damn sure have an oven. All right, so here they are. They look fantastic. There's none of that crust with a traditional egg bite. So I'm gonna take two of these. I'm gonna cut into one and you're gonna see the texture. So if you are a fan of the Starbucks ones, look at that. Look at that, you guys. Okay, these are absolutely perfect. So if you love them, give it a try. I did make them with egg whites. You can make them with egg yellows. Um, instead of 10 egg whites, use five whole eggs. They will still come out fantastic. But this is a win-win, you guys. Just look at that. That is exactly the texture of the ones in Starbucks. 